So, when you think of racing titles on a Nintendo platform, you probably think of games like Mario Kart, Diddy Kong Racing, or maybe even F-Zero, but there was a racing title that was released for the Wii U that I felt did not get enough love, called Fast Racing Neo. Now this game is known as Fast Remix once it got ported over to the Switch. This is the version we'll be looking at for this review due to the improved visuals, gameplay, and just more quality of life tweaks. If you know anything about me, you know that I love racing titles. These are some of the games that I spent hours on with friends playing. I plan on eventually revisiting some of these in the future, but for this review, I wanted to highlight Fast Remix. Fast Remix is like if you took a game like Wipeout and mixed it in with the mechanics of high-speed thrills of F-Zero GX. These are some very unique mechanics that we'll highlight in this review, so let's get into it. This title was developed by Shinin Multimedia, the same team who developed The Taurus, which was a game I reviewed recently on this channel. This team was really good at bringing out the potential of any Nintendo platform, both visually and and performance wise and fast remix is no exception to that first off this game is absolutely beautiful when i played the original release on the wii u i was blown away at how great this game looked the switch kicks it up a notch with great lighting and weather effects and also running at a smooth 60 fps which is super critical for a game like this the tracks are futuristic race tracks that look amazing and feel great to race on the sense of speed you get for these courses are insane and super exhilarating just be careful though because if you go too fast you can run the risk of crashing out in terms of the gameplay, this game is a high speed racer, so you'll be boosting and drifting like crazy throughout the cups. The game has a total of 12 cups and 3 courses each. One mechanic that sets this game apart is the color switching mechanic. Throughout the race, you will come across these blue and orange strips. When you press the X button on the switch controller, your car lights will change. Make sure before you run along these strips of the course, your car matches so you can get a pretty nice boost. If you're on the wrong color, well you see a massive slowdown. Now in terms of difficulty. This game can get pretty intense. The game wants you to master the courses and mechanics to come out on top. There are multiple cars to choose from that all have different stats to suit your playstyle. The CPU is no joke, so make sure you take advantage of every boost that you can get. You can also collect these orbs that you find throughout the course to increase your boost meter. By pressing the R button, you'll be able to go super fast with that boost. I love using this during long stretches to get to the finish line. This game features the typical modes you will find in pretty much any racing game, a Grand Prix, Time Attack, Online Multiplayer, and so on. This game also features a Hero Mode, where the boost meter acts as your health bar. This game is pretty straightforward in that regard, so it's perfect for those just pick up and play sessions. Overall, Fast Remix is a great, high energy racer to offer some of the best visuals on the Switch. If you're a fan of games like F-Zero GX, Wipeout, or even Burnout, this game is great to have in your collection. This game can be found in the eShop for $20 in the US. I would say it's worth the price. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you next time.